Hello everybody and welcome back to another Blender Made Easy tutorial. I've gotten many comments asking where the bake button is in the Mantaflow simulation, so today I decided to make a video on it. Now when anyone asks, I'll just give them this video. In Blender version 2.83, the default cache type was changed from modular over to replay. Replay allows you to play the simulation in real time without baking it. This is why the bake button is gone. In order to bring it back, we need to go underneath the cache type and set it back to modular. Once we do this, now we can bake in the simulation. Let's talk about the three cache types that Mantaflow has to offer, Replay, Modular, and Final. Replay again allows you to play the simulation in real time. I've noticed though when using this setting is that it does not give accurate results and can be very buggy at times. It's also kind of annoying because in order to see a change that you made to your flow object, you need to go back to your domain, refresh it by changing something there as well, and then play it again. I never use this type and I suggest you don't either if you want consistent results. The modular cache type breaks your simulation into different modules that you have to bake individually. For example, if I select noise for the smoke simulation, I will have to bake that in after the initial bake. This is very handy especially if you want to change something in the noise panel without having to rebake everything. This also includes mesh, particles, and guides for the fluid simulation. The final cache type, pun intended, gives you the option to bake everything at once. This is also helpful if you know exactly what you want your simulation to be. You can bake everything at once without having to go through each section. This cache type will save you about 10 seconds from having to scroll down and bake in the noise. The final cache type also does not allow you to resume the bake. You can see here if I stop it halfway through, I have to free it all and then bake it right at the start again. Unlike modular, if I stop the bake halfway through, I can resume it at that point, which is very useful. I hardly ever use this one as well because I never get the simulation right on the first try. I usually go through about 15 different bakes until I'm happy with the result. So there you have it folks, that is what happened to the bake button. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing because only 12% of you who actually watch my videos are subscribed. Alright, that's going to be it. Thank you for watching. If this video was helpful in any way, let me know in the comments and I will see you in the next one.